Today we're talking about the most recent Tesla news, including some hidden details about the refreshed Model S, a big change coming to the Model Y lineup, a small Cybertruck update from Elon, Tesla dominating EV sales and more, so let's get into it. First up today, US registration data from 2020 shows that Tesla is absolutely dominating electric vehicle sales. This comes as not much of a surprise since the electric vehicle offerings from other companies have been few and far between. Almost 79% of all electric vehicles registered in the US in 2020 were Teslas. If we look at the top 10 list, we can see the Tesla Model 3 is first place with 95,135 sold, and the Tesla Model Y is in second with 71,344 sold. Right behind those two is the very popular Chevy Bolt, but it's still only sold 19,664 according to this data. Fourth and fifth were Tesla's more expensive vehicles, and it really shows just how few options there are. After the Chevy Bolt, the next best-selling EV that isn't a Tesla is the Nissan Leaf, and just under 9,000 of those were sold. What I find interesting on Tesla's side of things is that they actually only sold 20,000 more Model 3s than Model Ys, and the Model Y didn't come until the very end of March of 2020. I wouldn't be surprised if they sell more Model Ys than Model 3s this year, but we'll see how the impending federal tax credit impacts things, and we'll get into that more in a second. I also find it interesting that they sold about 5,000 fewer Model S's than Model X's. I actually expected the opposite to be true because of price. In any case, in 2020, Tesla dominated the EV market, and they will likely continue to do so in the near future. Luckily though, as I detailed in my last video, there are a lot of compelling EV competitors coming up, and the future is looking bright. Tesla has a few clear advantages still, but this top 10 will likely include a few more vehicles sold in large quantities, like the Ford Mustang Mach-E in 2021 and 2022. Next up, Tesla has been doing some weird pricing moves with the Model 3 and Model Y, but particularly with the Model Y. When Tesla announced the Model Y, they announced four variants. They took orders of all but the standard range version. By the time it released, they were only taking new orders of the long-range all-wheel drive and performance models. Over the past 11 months or so, we haven't heard anything regarding the long-range rear-wheel drive, which many people pre-ordered. We got some tweets from Elon saying that it would have great range and would probably come in around $45,000. Elon also said the standard range model would never come because the range would be unacceptably low, under 250 miles. Well, the rear-wheel drive Elon talked about never came and we got some rumors and mixed communications to customers hinting that the long-range rear-wheel drive was officially canceled, and at the same time, Tesla actually released the standard range Model Y. I made a whole video about it, it got 244 miles of range, and came in at $41,990 as of January 7th. On the 17th of February, Tesla dropped some prices. The standard range Model 3 dropped by $1,000, and the standard range Model Y dropped by $2,000, bringing it down to $39,990. Well, that didn't last long, because around Sunday the 21st, they removed the standard range Model Y from their website. No official word from Tesla on why they did this, but it is gone. When they removed that one, they also lowered the price of the long range Model Y by $1,000, bringing the lowest price down to $48,990. $90. Does your head hurt yet? Because mine does, and I really don't understand what Tesla is doing here and why they don't communicate what they're doing as well. There were plenty of people ready to order the standard range who apparently can't now, but we'll get into that more in a second. And there are still plenty of rear-wheel drive holders from nearly a year ago who haven't heard word from Tesla yet. They need to work on communication here, but Elon did give us a small update about the standard range Model Y. He tweeted to someone asking why it is no longer available and said, quote, it is still available off menu, but I don't think the range in many drive conditions yet meets the Tesla standard of excellence. This is what Tesla ended up doing with the $35,000 Model 3 for a while before they ultimately killed that model last year. You could still buy it, but it was only available directly through Tesla and you couldn't order it online. So this is what they're doing now with the standard range Model Y as well, and it absolutely has to do with what Elon originally called unacceptably low range. A related reason could be that the Model Y was listed at an EPA estimated 244 miles of range, but earlier this month some data from Edmunds showed that for some reason Tesla's estimates all seem to be exaggerated, even though they are officially verified from the EPA. Edmunds found that nearly every electric vehicle they tested actually gets more range than the EPA estimate. All of Tesla's vehicles, however, got less, and some got far less. For example, the 2018 Model 3 Performance they tested should have gotten an EPA range of 310 miles 
miles, and instead it got 256 miles, meaning it gets 17.4% less range than claimed. Similarly, the Model Y performance they tested from 2020 got 263 miles when it should have gotten 291, a 9.6% difference. It has been known for a while that real-world range varies based on a number of factors, but these test results show Teslas as being the worst among electric vehicle makers. They still get better range than other electric cars, but their real-world range differs the most from EPA estimates based on Edmunds' findings. I'll link the article below so you can see how they got those results, but if we consider the 9.6% difference the Model Y performance received and estimate what the same difference would be on a standard range Model Y, that would be about 221 miles of range on the standard range Model Y. 220 miles of range on a $40,000 car. Definitely unacceptable for Elon and that real world range could be a large factor there. Another factor for moving the standard range Model Y off menu could be the impending tax credit coming back for Tesla and GM. All signs are pointing to an imminent return of the federal EV tax credit. This time around it would allow Tesla to sell 400,000 more vehicles and those customers would qualify for a $7,000 tax credit. It's a big incentive because if you're gonna owe that much on your taxes, it's essentially $7,000 off. Tesla had no problem selling their cars without the tax credit in 2020. So if this comes back, maybe they have removed the standard range option and put it off menu in order to push customers to get the long range all wheel drive model, which is a better product and makes them more money. They lowered that price and with the $7,000 tax credit, it would have come in around $41,990. The price the standard range was originally at when it was announced about a month ago. We'll see if the off-menu price ends up being that cheaper price or if they revert it back to $41,990. The cheapest Tesla for the time being is the standard range plus Model 3 and it still exists, so you could get one around $29,990 with this credit if it comes to be. In any case, you can still buy the standard range Model Y according to Elon, so if that range is enough for you at the price point, you can do so by going through Tesla directly instead of ordering on their website which is good news. If they launched that car for one month only to cancel it entirely, that would be very disappointing, so I'm glad to see it return. But again, Tesla and communication need to get better acquainted because we've heard mixed reports from Tesla customer service about the standard range being canceled for good and never coming back, and it was removed from the warranty website and more. Now a tweet from Elon says, oh wait, it's actually still here. We'll see what Tesla does and maybe they'll end up bringing back that long range rear wheel drive Model Y. The only issue is where they would put that in their pricing strategy without killing Model 3 sales. But now let's talk about the new Model S and X. Tesla announced their refreshed Model S and X on January 27th. They updated their website and talked about it on their earnings call, but they still left a lot of questions unanswered, as they do. We got some new leaked images of a few Model S's in the wild this week posted by Nick George on Twitter, posted on the Tesla owners forum, and posted in an official video by Tesla. The first thing to note is that in every Model S we see, it has a normal steering wheel, not a yoke steering wheel. The yoke steering wheel is arguably the biggest design change Tesla made to the new Model S and X. It cuts off the top of the wheel, gets rid of the stocks, and has buttons to control some functions typically controlled by stocks. As we can see, this is a standard round steering wheel. A render of this was found in Tesla's website source code, but has not been officially posted by Tesla. In Tesla's Twitter post of Plaid winter testing, we can also see the round steering wheel, however, if we zoom in very close. Again, it's pretty crazy that customers are taking delivery of this car in March, and Tesla hasn't clarified if the yoke steering wheel is the only option or not. I was sent an order breakdown by a Model S reservation holder, and they noted that it is in the configuration line for the yoke steering wheel being included. Most likely, once delivery dates are getting closer, Tesla will open up the option to choose a normal round wheel, like has been on every model that we've seen testing, or you'll be able to choose the yoke wheel. I know there are plenty of customers who would want a normal wheel, and on a car this expensive, I really hope Tesla gives the option. It should ultimately be a website configuration in my opinion. Another aspect of the yoke steering wheel is that the NHTSA has actually yet to confirm if it's legal in the United States. Other countries like the UK and Netherlands have said that it's legal there, but the latest we heard from the NHTSA, they said, quote, at this time, NHTSA cannot determine if the steering wheel meets federal motor vehicle safety standards. We will be reaching out to the automaker for more information. The likeliest scenario is that it gets approved here and Tesla opens the option for both wheels, but we'll see how this develops. A big aspect of the yoke steering wheel that will also be present with a normal steering wheel is the removal of stocks. 
Tesla says, quote, the ultimate focus on driving, no stocks, no shifting. With a stockless steering yoke, you can enjoy both the best car to drive and the best car to be driven in. Elon detailed this a bit in a couple of tweets saying, quote, no more stocks. Car guesses drive direction based on what obstacles it sees. Context and nav map. You can override on touchscreen. He followed that up to say, quote, after you drive without the PRND stock slash stick for a few days, it gets very annoying to go back and use a shifter. He talked about it more on Joe Rogan's podcast as well, but didn't have much more to add. Well, he talked about overriding on the touchscreen, but we had heard reports that there were actually going to be force touch buttons for the override located at the base of the wireless charger. That appears to be somewhat confirmed in this prototype Model S spotted in Ohio. We can see labels for park, reverse, neutral, and drive at the base of the wireless charger. So it looks like this design will be made for the car to handle this task, but if you need to override, you will have four buttons located down there. Hopefully the production buttons will be labeled a little more clearly than the original render, and a little less clearly than this photo. Based on this other prototype spotted in Carmel, California, if we look super closely, I think we can see some sort of label for the buttons built in there, but we'll know for sure once these start getting delivered. There's also this cup covering up some kind of control in this prototype. What do you think it is? Ejector seat? SpaceX rocket launch mode? I honestly have no idea what this could be, so leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. We can also see some indications of the wider body that this new refresh has in some photos, and how the overall design hasn't changed much, but can be distinguished with the trained eye. We also can see that the side cameras for autopilot are larger than before. They are larger and stick out further, which could be the result of the wider body in the back of the new Model S. Maybe it blocks a little more than before, and this larger camera helps it to get around that, see around it, and optimize for autopilot and full self-driving. In any case, deliveries are being scheduled for owners of these cars, and most likely that will be the first time any of these design updates get 100% confirmed. Regarding the Cybertruck, we got a tiny little update from Elon. He replied to the Tesla owners of Silicon Valley Twitter account and said, quote, final design is looking sweet, or whatever you call that emoji, was just in the studio. Basically, these tweets and updates from Elon are confirmations that the Cybertruck is real. The design isn't going to end up looking completely different than the prototype. He confirmed it in this tweet on Jay Leno's show on Joe Rogan's podcast. This is the Cybertruck. It will have some minor changes and be around 3% smaller overall to accommodate smaller tunnels, but it will be this extreme of a design when it finally ships at the end of this year or more likely next year. I mentioned this in a previous video, but the Model Y has officially shifted to the new updated center console. I've seen more and more customers taking delivery with both the updated console and heated steering wheel, so if you buy a new one, you're likely to get those. Tesla hasn't updated the renders on their website yet, however, which could mean that they are still clearing inventory of the older consoles, so it might not be a guarantee that you will receive the new console if you order today. Regarding Tesla's worldwide expansion and factory construction, a report came out recently showing that Tesla will be opening up a manufacturing unit in southern India. We've known about Giga Texas and Giga Berlin being constructed, but now they might be adding one in India? The word, quote, manufacturing unit isn't too clear, but a tweet from an official had also said that Tesla would establish an R&D center in India, and that tweet was later deleted. Elon has talked about entering the market in India for some time, but now it's looking like Tesla will be expanding there for much more than just sales. Research and development and possibly a new manufacturing unit or factory could be coming to India, likely as part of India's plans to offer large incentives for companies to set up battery manufacturing in the country. Tesla detailed just how expansive their battery facilities will need to become in the future to truly move the world to sustainable energy, and this could very well be part of their long-term plan. We know they have a pilot plan to make their new 4680 battery cells at Fremont, and plan to make production lines of those at Giga Berlin and Giga Texas, but long-term, they will need a lot more. We'll see what happens in India for Tesla, and I'll be sure to keep you posted. The Tesla Roadster has gotten a patent approval from the US Patent Office. Instead of the traditional two wiper design, Tesla showed prototypes of the Roadster with a quote, electromagnetic windshield wiper design system. They received approval on January 12th of this year. Essentially, this wiper design will wipe the entire windshield of all water drops in one motion, instead of using two wipers and missing some spots above and in the corners that end up running down onto the windshield. It's another in a long list of insane innovations and features the upcoming Roadster will probably have. Production should begin in 2022. It may have a SpaceX thruster for three tons of insane acceleration, and Elon wants it to be able to hover. And now we know that it's gonna have some cool windshield wipers. Last up today, Tesla has filed to expand their Fremont factory and make the Model Y tent permanent. 
They have multiple assembly lines at their Fremont factory, and it looks like they will be expanding it even further with the description, quote, foundations and underground utilities for proposed 64,000 SF South expansion. They will be expanding the factory itself and making what they call General Assembly 4.5, a permanent structure with foundations, plumbing, and electrical work. It's another sign that Tesla does not plan to leave California anytime soon, even with Elon himself moving to Texas. Long term, however, I think Tesla will end up retooling this factory and moving their primary production to Texas, but time will tell. That's all the latest updates from Tesla for today, so in the meantime, make sure to subscribe to this channel, make sure to like this video if you appreciated it. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok at Ryan Tech. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.